You mentioned yeah. physical differences between men and women. Yeah. So strength being one of them. Yeah. Um, are there any other physical different differences that are really pertinent to this subject? So strength sports are the biggest gap between men and women. Yeah. Um, sort of sprinting cardio, like short distance, there's also a big gap. And it's funny when you look at the numbers of like the fastest man in the world, the fastest woman in the world, they're not that different. Um, but if women did not have their own reserved sporting categories, there would be no women in elite sport. Because like the fastest woman in the world would be like the thousandth fastest man in the world or something like that. Because once you're getting to, into elite sports levels, that's when these differences become very obvious. And there's this expression that's, I think it's the golden ratio in endurance sport where women are always, it's like 85% or something mm -hmm. of what men are, either the, 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 the very most accomplished elite female athlete and the very most accomplished elite male athlete, there's always this gap. So anyway, so the cardio differences are not massive. The strength differences are pretty big. Um, this physical difference, mm -hmm. what does this then mean for the subjects we were talking about as it relates to sort of sexuality and society more generally? 